The Tourner TC1020 Condenser Desktop Microphone is described as being great for gaming, recording YouTube videos, voiceovers, and doing podcasting. But for around £43, that's around 55 in US dollars, is it any good within those categories? Well, let's go ahead and let's take a further look. Okay, so this box is minimalist. Ah, minimal. Okay, this box is minimalistic. Ah, inside the box, there is a two years warranty card. There is a multi language user manual with a detailed setup guide and the TC1020 itself, which comes well protected in its perimeter padding. Let's take the mic out of the sleeve and oh, I do like the look of it. It has a modern and elegant design. It's kind of nice. To the bottom of the mic, we have a microphone volume control dial with a 3.5mm headphone jack below, with zero delay monitoring, allowing you to monitor your voice input in real time. We have this heavy but solid triangle shaped base with full rubber padding to the bottom. This should stop any rattling while recording, for example on an uneven tabletop. What's good is that we have this lengthy 2 meters plug and play USB lead attached and behind the front mesh cover we have the microphone which has a cardioid pickup pattern which is good for capturing those sound sources directly from the front and reducing any unnecessary background noise. There is the chrome toner logo to the front with more of a chrome accent going around the microphone. So what do we know about the specifications? The TC1020 has a frequency response from between 20Hz to 20kHz. It has a sample rate of 48kHz 16-bit. So no, don't be expecting with this particular microphone that you're going to get anything like studio quality recordings. As we know, the microphone has a cardioid pickup pattern. It's plug and play with no need for an extra driver interface or an external sound card. Which when this microphone is plugged in, it will initiate and work within 3 seconds. So guys, now the microphone is plugged in, let's just test it out. So we're just going to switch over to the microphone, but first let me just place the volume at halfway. I don't want it to be too loud. And let's press record. So let's switch over to the microphone. So hello guys, I'm now speaking from the toner microphone. Let's do some high tones from around about mm, 60 centimeters away. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ed from the Go Get Yours Review channel and why have you not subscribed? Simple as. It's just down below, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Hopefully it's not too bad from 60 centimeters away, but if I move a bit closer to the microphone and remember the volume's at halfway, we're now going to test out the P's and T's. P, 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 T, 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 P, I need a T. I do need a P and then after maybe a cup of tea. So that's up close and personal. I've got a feeling that maybe it is a bit distorted from that level. But like I said, it's better off staying around 60 centimetres away. So let's try the P's and T's from 60 centimetres away. P -p 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 pick up a pen win. T -t -t. I need a cup of tea. Cup of Tetley's. Cup of t Actually, Thai food's the best tea, guys. Tetley's is just... Ugh. And let's turn the microphone around. Let's see if this microphone can actually pick up any unnecessary noise. So I'm around about 60 centimeters away still. I'm stood behind the microphone. Let's walk away from the microphone and see what the noise is like around the room. Yes, guys. See the door opening as I pick the noise up. Remember, this is halfway. And this is the noise from behind the microphone. Let's turn the microphone back around. And yes. That's the microphone test done. So what do I actually think of this Kona TC1020? Well, honestly, it certainly has good pickup from the front. I wouldn't necessarily say that it does block out close proximity sound from the rear. My distance, yeah, it will block it out. But for a cardioid mic, you definitely can use this microphone when doing a podcast with two or more people. After listening to the audio playback, you certainly don't have any background static noise. And it is crystal clear when you're at a good distance. 
If you're looking for a different microphone, maybe one that may pick up more people, having a podcast with five or more people, then you definitely keep in mind to get an omnidirectional microphone. This is a cardioid pickup microphone. Like I mentioned, the sound is noticeable from the rear when the microphone's turned around, but at a distance, it does do an all right job at blocking that distant sound. This Tony TC1020 is actually showing a good example that it can indeed be used for voiceovers. It's good for YouTube videos, obviously you don't want to get up close and personal to the microphone, then those P's and T's and other letters may be distorted. I was actually surprised that the filter that's built in did a pretty good job. This microphone is very, very cost effective. It looks good. I think it really would look the part when doing a YouTube channel or maybe doing a podcast live. I'm great for doing makeup tutorials and how to guides. So, yes, this Tona 1020 microphone is actually a really good tabletop mic. And personally, I'm going to continue using this microphone within a few of my future videos. Now, to my rating that I usually give out of 10, I've got to give this Tona microphone today a rating of 8 out of 10. Now I give 8 because of the microphone and earphone volume being controlled by the same volume control dial. I only realised this when I was recording and doing some editing. It's needless to say that when you are actually recording on a very, very high level, then it's obvious. Those headphones will be at a high level too and may affect your audio recording. But nevertheless, this is still a very, very good tabletop microphone. It's got a great design, good for the money and I certainly would recommend it. Now you can get this microphone just now in the video description right down below. While you're there guys, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe, making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. Please share this video wherever possible, I very much appreciate it. And well, thanks for watching. Peace.